Hi, my name is Terry Rolls. Welcome to the lab here at Cool Clubs. Today we're going to focus on the swing catalyst plate. Swing catalyst. Swing catalyst plate is measuring ground reaction forces. We have horizontal force, we have vertical force, and we have rotational force. And each person needs a different balance of those three in order to maximize their own club head speed. We've got Colt Nost here working on the plate, and what we're trying to do is to try to find his individual movement pattern and how that relates to him getting more club head speed and more control of the club face. We know for sure that the ground is, is very important for speed and control, and what we're trying to do is just measure those forces and maximize it. I mean, you look at, you look at other sports. Steph Curry doesn't shoot three-pointers straight-legged. You would come up way shorter than if you use your legs. Right. As far as fighting or boxing goes, I mean, you watch guys, I mean, they push up. Everyone uses the ground in all sports. Right. What the swing catalyst allows us to do is see what is otherwise invisible. So we normally cannot see the forces from the ground. This is a way of us measuring what we can't see in order to maximize the force that goes back up into Colt's body and therefore the club head. My tendencies in the past is I fall back into my heels a lot. And basically, like he said, the more force you use from the ground, the more speed you can create. Anyone can sit there at home and just sit back on their heels and try to jump and you can't jump at all. So for me, if I can work more towards the balls of my feet towards the front, it allows me to use the ground more to push up and create more speed. Really good. So here's a, here's a swing we just captured of, of Colt. So if we can look at the, uh, the data here, we can see, you know, effectively we've got four different pieces of information we're looking at. The top map here is pressure and stance, so that shows us at any point in time where his pressure is. But the most important thing I'm looking at is he's got a whole foot on the ground. If we're going to jump up in the air and dunk a basketball or in any other sport, we want to make sure we're using our whole foot to jump from, or especially the ball of the foot eventually to jump from. And we can see that heat map, but that's showing us that he's slightly more on the ball of the foot than anywhere else in his foot which gives him the best chance of getting more vertical force and therefore more club head speed. As we move down, the pink graph is going to show horizontal force side to side. In, in Colt's case, his stance was a little bit too wide. So we're actually trying to minimize the side to side force in order that he can rotate and push up faster. The third one is torque. So that measures the rotational torque. And the final graph here, the blue one, is vertical force. So that's how much does a person push into the ground and therefore uh, how much does it come back at them? He started at 130% today of his body weight pushing up. Now we got it up to 151. It's kind of like racing a car. You know, what we're looking at in his vertical force is a very clean acceleration and deceleration. Before, he was building up power very slowly, as, as he said, which you, you do from your heels. So it wasn't a very sharp peak. So what we're seeing in that last swing is that side to side is middle of the PGA Tour average. Rotation is middle of the PGA Tour average, and he's really getting close to being PGA Tour average in, in the vertical. And so and if he can use all three of those forces in that fashion, I mean, he can be, you know, 10 miles an hour faster than when I first met him. Yeah, I mean, just seeing these numbers, I can make little adjustments and get mm -hmm. to where he wants me to get to. I'm a guy that's not real good with track man and all that. Like, I've just always learned to play, play golf. I go out and I hit shots. And, but this is using technology to your advantage. And so when he tells me, look, you need to feel more force into the ground, or and here's how you can do it, then I can gradually start to get the feeling and then take it out onto the golf course. And it's just trying to figure out how to maximize your power in here. I don't want to go change what I've done my whole career, change my golf swing to hit it further. Like, but if I can change just my body movements, it's so much easier. So everyone moves differently. We've developed a very unique way of assessing the body. When Colt is going to go into his downswing, he's gonna get the most vertical force when he pushes into the ball of his foot. Where I was using the most force in the ground was after impact. Basically, I was hitting the golf ball just with all arms and hands. So now I feel more, I, I rotate more on the way back. I can keep the weight more towards the ball of my feet, which allows me to use the ground and spring up. So as his speed increases, he's gonna to need to make some small adjustments in the, in the specs of his clubs. Each person does have a maximum ceiling, but uh, for him, he's not touching that yet. Cool. cool. Thanks, bud. Thank you very much. So that's it guys. That was the Swing Catalyst motion plate here at Cool Clubs. I gotta get back to work. Get out of here.